Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today I'm pretty excited because we are reviewing Lenovo's ThinkSentra Chromebox Tiny Workstation. So let's get started. Alright guys, so let's get down into the specifications on this particular Chromebox Tiny. Now, off the bat, let's start with the pricing. Now, the pricing for only the Chromebox is going to cost you $199. Now, there's four different types that you could purchase. It really depends on your budget. Uh, the more spec'd out and high performance you want it, the more you're going to spend. But the highest that you could get on a Chromebox Tiny workstation would be $329. The type of operating system is Chrome. And memory size is about 4 gigs for the highest one, but you can get a low budget one with 2 gigs. It does come with 16 gigs of solid state drive. Depending on what model you get, it comes with two different graphics processors. You can either get an Intel HD graphics processor or an Intel HD graphics 5500 processor. Now this particular Chromebox that we're specking out today has 2 gigahertz of Intel i3 processor, 5th generation. And for the lower end Chrome boxes, you could get an Intel Celeron processor with 1.5 gigahertz of processing speed. All right guys, so let's get down into the ports because this little box right here has so many ports. So let's start in the front panel. So right here in the top is your power button. You have uh, two, two uh, 3.0 USB OTG, which OTG means on the go, so that means you could uh, charge devices on these ports. You have a hybrid uh, audio port. I love calling these hybrids because it allows you to hook up your uh, headphones as well as a mic system. Uh, nice little ventilation system in the front. If we turn it around, so let's turn this baby around. Uh, we have this nice little antenna is actually your Wi-Fi. This is what boosts up your Wi-Fi signal. So this is a must. Uh, you have a nice little hook right here for cable management. Right next to the Wi-Fi antenna, we have an additional uh, 3.0 USB. We have the Ethernet port if you want to hardwire it. We have an HDMI. Uh, we have extra slots right here that you're able to expand to... Um, uh, I believe to like an SD card. Uh, lock mechanism is right here. You have an additional 3.0 USB. So that means we have four 3.0 USB ports and on the two front panel, those are the ones that you could charge devices onto the go. So that's pretty awesome. And last but not least, uh, we have a display port and this is our power cable. So with this particular box, you can either use a DisplayPort monitor or a HDMI monitor, or you can get yourself the Lenovo ThinkCentro monitor that allows you to hook this up in the back. So I'm going to show you guys how that works out. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, we have the Lenovo ThinkCentro monitor. And one of the things that's so special about this monitor because it fits with the Chromebox. Now, uh, this entire set right here is considered an all-in-one and it will cost you about $279 and that's extremely cheap. Now I'm not trying to sell the product to you guys but I'm just letting you guys know that the product is pretty cheap if you're looking into finding a desktop and running Chrome OS. So uh, with the monitor the front panel comes with uh, two USB 3.0 uh, you have your monitor settings like your power and all that good stuff. Now, if you don't want to use the monitor and you want to keep this as the Chromebox, it does come with a nice little cradle and you could just hook up any external monitor either with a display port or a HDMI. Now, one of the things that I like about this a lot is if you turn it around, I'm going to turn it around for you guys. There we go. Is that this guy has a cool compartment. So, this is a latch. And the compartment is right here. It has this nice little cool mechanism that has power, which will connect to this. Uh, it's connected to a display port and it gives you connection to a USB. So the way that you guys would connect it is really simple. You take it out the cradle. Basically take it out the cradle. You want to unscrew the antenna. Now it's going to be facing you. The Chrome logo is facing you. And you're just going to drop it in and slide it in there. There you go. 
don't make make sure it's make sure it doesn't fall there it goes slide it in there and what you guys could do is just screw back the Wi-Fi because uh, when I was doing my testing I was using it mostly on the Wi-Fi connection make sure that the antenna is up because when you close it you don't want the antenna to be in the way now one thing before you even close it is you got to make sure that this mechanism is pushed in because I would give you connection uh, with USB as well as the display port and the power and then you guys are able to just close it up which is pretty awesome now with the monitor itself it does have a locking mechanism right here on the bottom right here and the lower uh, if, we're, if you're facing the monitor to your lower left hand side we have a USB a USB B type uh, port we have uh, another display port so if you guys love to do those dual monitors you can hook it up there and this is the power port and um, on the other side on the other side of the monitor we have two additional 2.0 USB ports and again another hybrid port that allows you to hook up your uh, headphone and mic system Alright guys, so let's take a look at the tiny box itself. I'm going to show you guys that this thing weighs extremely light. I can't believe how light this is. So I'm going to turn on our trusty BTN HD digital weight. Uh, I'm, I'm going to weigh it with the antenna. And let's see, let's just weigh it flat down and see how much it weighs in total. So, the Lenovo Think Sentra. Chromebox Tiny weighs about 2 pounds, 2.0 ounces, which is extremely light. So you're probably asking yourself, how fast is this Chromebox Tiny? It's small, extremely small and light as well. So how fast would it run? So as you guys can see right here in the time, and I already have it hooked up, and I'm going to power it on. Let's power this bad boy on and see how fast it boots up. And that's it guys, it boots up in seconds, not even minutes, in seconds. All you have to do is log in with your Gmail account and you guys are up and running. All right guys, so one of my favorite parts of more of these reviews that I've been doing for a while for you guys is the benchmarking. Now, uh, this was really challenging doing a benchmark within a Chrome OS because it's really rare to have an application like uh, 3D Mark or Geekbench to actually do a Chrome OS. Those applications normally deal with Mac or PCs, uh, operating systems. And uh, for this one, I found a site that does a Java uh, benchmarking. And I went into the Octane 2.0 benchmarking, which runs JavaScripts. And it gave it a score of 17,003, which is pretty high. Some of the performance tests that it does, it's really weird. At don't understand it as much but if you guys do understand this whole chrome benchmarking stuff hey shoot me a comment right below because i'm always willing to learn something new i did download a chrome app called system information that breaks down uh the information of what the machine has as you can see it does come with core i3 2.00 uh, gigahertz four processors which is a uh, dual core i believe dual core right a total capacity of memory is 4 gigs, but right now it's only using 1.09 gigs. Um, and that's 27% of the machine. So I'm not really running anything other than the, you know, the browser. All right, guys. So that is my conclusion of the Think Sentra uh, Chromebox Tiny from Lenovo. Overall, I think this is an amazing, amazing device. Why? Because it's cheap. 200 bucks is not that bad. Uh, the specs is not there for a gamer, even though you're able to go inside Chrome and go to the web app store and purchase apps to play games. But it's not one of these workstation that allows you to play like Black Ops or you know Battlefield Warfare or whatever. Uh, it, it's really simple. I would definitely recommend this to my parents if they were still alive and they wanted to get into the technology world because this is a the best thing for elders. Uh, if you are a student, I would definitely get this. Uh, if you are always working with documents and you, you have a Gmail account, hey, all that, all that stuff is being saved onto 
the cloud. So you don't have to worry about this machine crashing on you because if, you have, if you're working on an important document, hey, it's a Google Drive. You don't have to worry about it. I think the 16 gig solid state drive space is basically installing apps and that's about it. You can't really store any folders within here. But uh, I, I love the size, I love all the ports. I mean, come on, this is crazy. You have four uh, USB 3.0 ports and two of them already are, um, you know, power on the go, which is awesome. And it's extremely light. If you don't want to purchase Lenovo's uh, monitor, which overall is gonna cost you $279, that's like 80 bucks more, you, you could just, uh, just purchase the box and just make sure that your external monitor has either a display port or you could do HDMI, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I haven't used this device with the e Ethernet port. Uh, mostly my testing was done on the Wi-Fi and it was great. It really depends on your Wi-Fi connection and it will work great for you guys. But I am super stoked about this device. I think uh, once my son gets a little bit more proficient with technology and computers, this is probably going to be the first one that I might buy for him. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it, guys, for my review. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Please make sure that you leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.